Hi, just a short video to show my small fountain pen collection that I began this year, 2023, starting in March. Now, actually, my first fountain pen was lost to the world after a single day. Um, it was a purchase from a craft store. I don't even remember the name of the company, but after that terrible day, I went ahead and knew that I wanted more fountain pens. So I went ahead and got this Lamy Safari. Am I pronouncing that right? I don't really know. This is um, the violet color that was released with a, a collection of three colors. Um, I believe it's called the Candy Collection. The nib that I have is a fine nib. When I first purchased it, I had an extra fine nib. Um, but through the process of collecting these pens, I've discovered that fine is sort of my happy place. Um, and this was a great pen to start with. I, I really enjoyed how well it clips to my uh, my sort of messenger style bag that I have. Um, so it was great to have on the go. Now I keep it in a bag with my other pens. The second pen that I purchased um, is this aluminum Kaweco. I I really like the, the sport style. It's small, obviously, and being tall, I do have pretty big hands. But um, I got this with a medium nib um, because I had the extra fine. And then I thought, you know, I'm going to jump up a good way, a good amount. Goodness. Anyway, uh, it turns out that that was too far. So I w it was a real Goldilocks situation. Um, but being metallic like this is, um, it's a lot heavier than the Lamy. And then this is the third one that I got um, when I visited my local fountain pen store. And it is also a Kaweco Sport, but it's plastic. It's just a classic white color. And uh, this one has a fine nib. And that's kind of my favorite. And then for my inks, I have three bottles currently. They're actually a similar series of colors to what I have here. I've got a purple in a shade similar to this. A green that's like, it's teal, but it's um, not quite, it's not really this color exactly. This is more of a blue. This is literally blue. And then I don't have a white, but I have a yellow shade. So the first bottle of ink that I ever bought was this Waterman Tender Purple. And then I bought this guy right here, my teal. And finally, the Noodler's Southwest Sunset. I also have a mixed uh, collection of cartridges. So there's a few um, pretty conservative colors. And then I have one more bottle, one more small 30 milliliter bottle of, um, I believe it's strawberry red ink coming my way. My sister picked some up for me when she visited Atlas Stationers in Chicago. Um, this is, I don't have the <laughs> corresponding colors in the, in each pen. I've got them all mixed up, but here's the Southwest Sunset with the fine nib. Um, I do a lot of underlining with this color. This um, aluminum Kaweco Sport is my favorite one. Um, even though the nib isn't my favorite, the the weight. See, I told you it's not the corresponding color. The weight of the pen is something that I really enjoy. My handwriting is just a little too small for the medium nib, I think. Um, but this last one, I mean... The first one and the third one both are fine nibs. And they're kind of my my happy place, I think, for my particular writing style. 
Now these are kind of, um, kind of Mardi Gras colors, really. I think with the lighting, the, the shade of green might not be coming through super well. Um, but I use all three of these in my journal, which is what this is. This is a, a look term 1917 notebook. And, uh, I use all three of them every day. Uh, but I'm looking forward to changing up my color selection. So I'm kind of on a limited budget, but, um, the thing that I'm going to be spending more money on in the future is expanding my collection of inks. And then outside of that, eventually I'd like to get at least one more pen. The YouTube channel, The Joy in Pens and Paper, she has like these absolutely stunning pens and I feel really inspired to find something with that abalone effect, if not the real deal. Uh, so that's something that I'm hoping to get in the future. But anyway, thought I'd share my collection for anyone who is interested.